Hey guys, so I want to do a video real quick just to kind of put my opinion out there on what you guys should be doing this winter. It is so important to learn how to market your own business. You have so many... These groups are probably more full of marketers than they are of actual wash companies. You have to watch because everybody... Like once you're in business, you'll have the Google people calling you all the time. Like this is your local Google representative, uh, you know, trying to get you to sign up with them. You'll have people trying to tell you like say your service area is 30 miles away from your physical address and you didn't get an address already like in that area for your Google My Business, like a office space or something. They'll be trying to tell you they can rank you, they can get you to show up for Google Maps there, even if your area is saturated. Uh, you got guys that try to tell you they're going to get you a good website. You know, like there's good, there's good marketers out there and there's bad ones, just like anything else. But it's important to learn as much as you can for yourself because with some things like Facebook ads, extremely easy to run they have this market's become extremely saturated that facebook themselves has a huge database of uh look-alike campaigns that have been successful minus the area you have to like you know your area better than a marketer will know it so it's best to pick your own areas anyways but like i see this all the time like in my area i live in pittsburgh pennsylvania and wash companies from like florida and texas will be showing up in in my news feed they screwed up their targeting and it's something simple, like just simple. But a marketer is going to see that, contact them, be like, oh, you know, you don't, you, if you pay me, I can make sure you're getting, like, it's, it's a simple, stupid mistake that you're going to get solicited for. It's best to network with guys, figure out what you're doing before you do it. There's Facebook groups for everything. There's Facebook groups for Facebook ads, Google ads, everything. Network and learn how to do it while you're on your slow season. If, if you, you know, if you're, if you're, so busy that you need to pay somebody for marketing, chances are you're not going to be picking any random hobo off or whatever, Joe Schmo off of one of these uh, advertisements you see on your newsfeed. You're not going to be going with the guy pandering, going through the groups, you know. Like I just seen yesterday for Google ads, this guy wants 500 bucks too, right, for his brother. But he he, uh, he takes no accountability for himself. Like he had, he ran a Google campaign, right? Google is extremely easy to run, like ads are extremely easy to run. Same thing anymore. Our industry is so saturated that they have the data to have good lookalike audiences, but they still try to push crappy keywords from other data that they get. Like the, you, you got to kind of think for yourself sometimes, right? So once you get a good fast loading website, it's extremely easy to do well during the busy season with Google ads. I, I suggest during the slow season, you find out how to do it for yourself or you could pay somebody that like, there, there's only, this dude, there's only one way his campaign went that bad. He forgot about it because Google nowadays, anyways, they'll call you like my, my campaign wasn't even doing that bad. I was making money off it. And they called me, they, they just call you every once in a while to try to get you on a free consultation to optimize it. Cause the better you do, the more money they make. Right. But they do try to give you some crappy keywords. Not gonna lie, you gotta be smarter when it comes to keyword marketing, like like keyword advertising, like that. They'll be like, "Oh, well, people th th pressure washing prices is one that's getting looked up a lot, and they'll try to get you to use that." Well, that's new guys looking up what they should charge or tire kickers. You don't want to show up for that. You want your money to go as far as possible. So it's good to network with guys, get their keyword list, ask what how they're like. You know what I mean? In different different places where it's not going to affect them to help you out. That'll make you go a lot further. Plus $500, you can do a lot with a $500 marketing budget on Google Ads <laughs> instead of paying somebody to run it for you. But I mean, if you're a baller like that, you know, I'm, when I started out, I was balling on a budget. I, I'm not paying nobody 500 bucks to run my Google Ads, especially somebody that neglected their campaign so bad that they gained 4,000. Like I couldn't do that bad if I tried. And I get it. Like that's like his thing. Like, oh, it did this bad, but now my brother fixed it. And he's, a, you know, you might want to hit him up. You know what I mean? Come get some. But no, you, you, you be smarter. If, if you're about to get into business, you got to be smart when it comes to marketing. Take this time during the slow season to learn how to do it yourself. SEO, some people are just not computer literate. Like it's just not going to happen. So network with guys. And I'm not saying the new guys. I'm saying like guys that have been in business for quite a while. They will direct you towards the best of the best SEO people. But when it comes down to it, I mean, if you want, I already know, like just look up Adam Estabrook on YouTube and, and if you got time this, this winter or while you're on jobs, you got, you, you got your ear thing in like, cause all you really do, need to do is listen and take away from it. He'll tell you exactly how to do your off page SEO to make you rank. I, I never knew how easy it was. And already 
I, I, I just learned a month ago. A month ago, I was about to drop the the, the hammer and pay somebody twenty five hundred bucks to start running my uh, my website. And then just like that, like a, like an angel sent from God, this dude came down and he uh, showed me how to do off page SEO. All my on page SEO was on point, so all I needed was a little off off page SEO magic, and boom. My, now I'm already like first on second page. And it's just going to continue to climb with the more citations and backlinks I get. But and, and that's what I'm saying. Network with people. You'll find a way to make your budget go so far.